Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to automate Azure App Service setup in Azure Cloud using Ansible playbooks and Azure DevOps pipeline. So if you look at this diagram, what we are going to do is we are going to create uh, Ansible playbooks. Using that Ansible playbooks, we are going to uh, create infrastructure in Azure Cloud. So we are going to create a resource group and then we are going to create App Service in Azure Cloud. So we all know about App Service, right? App Service is nothing but it's a platform as a service capability provided by Microsoft. Uh, if you wanted to deploy your web application or let's say you're creating API or if you're creating any kind of a mobile backend, you can easily deploy them into Azure Cloud using App Service. Okay, so that is what App Service is. Uh, so in this video, we are going to learn how we can automate the creation of App Service in Azure Cloud using Ansible playbooks. And then the way we are going to automate that is by creating Azure DevOps pipeline. Great, so let's get started. If you look at the implementation steps, the way we are going to access Azure Cloud is yes, we need to create service principle. So using the service principle, we would have necessary uh, you know, permission in order to create resources in Azure Cloud. After that, we will be creating Ansible playbook for creating resource group first, and then we will create an app service in Azure Cloud. And then the way we are going to invoke our Ansible playbook is by creating Azure AML pipeline. Okay, and then we need to add uh, variables for all these values. Okay, because whenever you create service principle, it's going to create client ID, secret ID, and tenant ID. So in order for uh, you know, Ansible playbooks to access Azure Cloud, we need to have a proper permission. So this will actually es establish that, okay? Once we create the pipeline and we are going to add a task for installing Ansible on the build agent, we are going to use Ubuntu as a, as a build agent. So the agent needs to have Ansible installed. So we need to do that. And then we will also install Ansible uh, RM modules as well. Actually, it's a Azure Aura module. Let me put it. So it's Azure Aura module. So we need to install that. Okay. And then finally, we need to invoke our Ansible playbook. Okay. So using the pipeline, we are going to call our Ansible playbook. And then we are going to execute our playbook. And then finally, we are going to just, uh, you know, verify. And finally, we are going to go ahead and then verify if our app service has been uh, created in Azure Cloud or not. Okay. And then last but not the least, we also need to perform cleanup because we are creating service principle and then some resources in Azure Cloud. So I, I will also show you how those can be cleaned up as well after the demo. Great, so that's all we are going to do. So guys, you know, this is my website, coachdevops.com. I will be posting the link right below the video as well. So if you look at the prerequisite, yes, we need to have Azure account subscription, okay? So this is my Azure account. Okay, and then we also need to have Azure CLI installed. So I'm actually going to use my local machine. I have already installed Azure CLI. Okay, so if you wanted to know how to install Azure CLI, you can click on this particular link. So this has all the instructions on Ubuntu, Windows and Mac OS as well. Okay, so feel free to go through it and then we need to create a service principle. So I'm gonna show you how we can create a service principle using Azure CLI command. And then of course, we also need to have our Microsoft organization, right? So, so I'm going to use, you know, one of the project dashboard uh, to create our Azure DevOps pipeline. Perfect. So let's get started here, right? So like I said, uh, let's use Azure CLI uh, to create a service principle, but for that, you know, I need to first log in into Azure Cloud. So let me go ahead and then say AZ login. So it's going to bring up my Microsoft account. So I'm going to just click on login. So there you go. You can see here, right? So I'm completely logged in into Azure Cloud. So now I can close that. Perfect. Let's go ahead and then create a service principle. Okay. So I'm going to use this command. So let me see here, right? So AZ AD and SP, right? And then let's create a service principle. I want to say create for our back. Okay, and then we need to give a name for our service principle. Okay, so let's say Ansible Azure SP. 
and then we need to give uh, i would like to give a contributor role okay so let's do that and then the scopes so the scopes yes we need to uh, you know add our subscription id so our subscription id uh, we can easily get that from our azure cloud so that is my subscription id perfect let's put that so that's it right let's enter so it shows some issue let me see here oh i did not provide space over here okay perfect so right now it is in the process of creating service principle wow there you go it already created so it has created the service principle perfect so make sure guys you know you store these values we would be needing them okay for creating a pipeline and then accessing uh, azure cloud so what i'm going to do is save the information in a notepad perfect let's get back let me clear the screen so we have created the service principle so now what we have to do is we need to go ahead and then create ansible playbooks so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my github repository i also have you know went ahead and then created our aml file here as well i have created the playbook here as well okay so let's quickly go through it so as you can see here i have created a list of you know variables over here so this is the resource group name and this is the name of the web app what we are actually going to create and then this is the plan name and then what is the location okay and then this is a task so basically uh, i wanted to first make sure the resource group exists if the resource group does not exist then it will go ahead and then create one okay and then the next task is you know this is the one which will actually go ahead and then create an app service uh, we are actually creating a linux app service with a java runtime and uh, this is the module what we are using azure rm web app module okay and you can clearly see here we are going to create uh, you know a plan okay with this name and then we will also go ahead and then create web app with these values okay so if you actually create a linux web app so currently only you know java version 8 is supported not any other version okay so that is something you need to be really careful okay perfect so that is our ansible playbook so let me go back to my instructions so that is a playbook i also have you know documented that here in my website as well okay so now let's go ahead and then create a aml pipeline so that aml pipeline can invoke this ansible uh, you know playbook right so let me go back to my uh, project dashboard here go to pipeline let's start with creating a new pipeline since our playbooks are in github let me click on github so make sure that you already established service connection with github uh, from azure devops it's pretty straightforward it's not that difficult and then this is our uh, repository name so just click on it okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to actually start with the starter pipeline i mean this is totally fine I'm in, in fact you can also see here right so there is nothing wrong here okay you can start with the starter pipeline and then you can you can create a pipeline so let me start with the starter pipeline okay so there you go so this just has the minimum pipeline over here so what we are going to do is since i have already returned the pipeline code over here so we can simply copy and paste i will explain everything line by line okay perfect so as you can see here yes we are using uh, this as a agent ubuntu latest and then like i said we need to install ansible on the build agent okay and then we need to install ans uh, or azure aura module over here okay and then we need to uh, go ahead and then execute our playbook so this is the playbook name isn't it so that is the name uh, let me just make sure the name is correct create linux app service okay perfect all right and then look at here right so this is how we are reading the variables so let's click on variables okay let's let's click on new variable so as you can see here we need to create four different variables 
okay so let me start one by one let me say azure subscription id i want to keep this as a secret so please do that and say okay and then let's add another variable click on plus and we are going to add azure client id i don't want to make any typo error so that's why i'm, I'm carefully doing it let me make this as a secret and then the client id you would be picking up from here that is a client id that is actually nothing but the app id perfect the next variable is yes let's go ahead and then add azure secret and then that is nothing but the password perfect okay and then last but not the least we're gonna add the tenant id so this is the value keep this as a secret and then i'm going to copy the exact value look at here azure underscore tenant you need to be careful with the value name okay perfect variable name perfect so i think i think we have all the variables added with the correct values perfect i think everything is you know looking good over here okay i think that's it right i think the moment i say save and run ansible aml file should be checked in here and then it should go ahead and then you know execute the pipeline as well uh, but before i do let me just make sure i have everything here right i think we took care of everything perfect all right so let's go ahead and then click on save and run so like i mentioned this should have created a file over here there you go perfect and then pipeline also started running as you can see here okay so right now it is in the process of you know installing ansible on the build agent let's see wow the playbook has been executed perfect and we can literally see here all right so let's go to azure portal or uh, let me click on the resource groups so this is the resource group what has been created wow there you go do you all see here so this was the app service what we had created under this resource group and then we can also see uh, over here we can also see the app service plan as well right i know it's going to take uh, you know few seconds to show up and then if you wanted to access your Azure App Service URL, there you go. So that's the URL, right? Yeah. So yeah, you know, that is how guys, you know, that is how we can actually automate. Uh, and then let's actually go ahead and then perform cleanup as well. That is also very important, isn't it? So what I'm going to do is, since I am exposing my credentials, I don't want anyone to misuse that. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and then perform this command. So this is the, uh, you know, what do you call service principal name, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and then perform this particular command, uh, you know, to, to provide me the table here with ID information. And then I'm going to go ahead and then delete the service principal, okay? So there you go, you see here. So this is how you would delete the service principal. You just need to pass the ID, which is nothing but this one. All right, so the service principal got deleted. I don't think you can use the service principal again. If you wanted to verify, you can go back to the pipeline, you can run the pipeline. I'm pretty sure, you know, the pipeline will fail because it is not able to recognize the service principal. Let's just make sure. There you go, guys. So like I said, you cannot use the service principal. So we already got the error saying that unauthorized. You all see here because we have deleted the service principle. Wonderful. And then let's also go ahead and then do our last cleanup, which is nothing but to delete the resource group as well so that everything is clean. There you go. So this is going to take like few seconds to clean up all the resources under that resource and then finally to delete the resource group as well. Okay. Or if you think that, hey, you know what? I don't want to uh, do it through a command line. If you want to do it through Ansible playbook. So I also have provided that playbook here as well. Uh, you just need to say state apps and that's it. And then pass the resource group and then the web app name. And then when you execute this through again uh, pipeline, this will 
uh, go ahead and then you know delete the resource group and then the web app as well all right so yeah so that's it guys you know that's how you can automate azure app service setup in azure cloud using ansible playbook and azure devops pipeline thank you for watching the video